Bienvenue! Hello, everybody. How you doing? This is Lord Team Maker. This is me on behalf of the Game One Play Itself podcast and content creators. And how you doing this afternoon? Are you ready for some streaming goodness? And me actually know where the hell I'm going. <laughs> because when we last left this pre-EGX, I was kind of lost, wasn't I? I went in the wrong direction, apparently. Which is why I couldn't find where I was going. <laughs> Which is just... Yeah, that's, 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 that's... Yeah. That's, that, that wasn't, that wasn't great. So... <sighs> so where we were going wrong was... We were going back behind us up there. It's not where we wanted to go. We need to go this way. That way to do it all. But, 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 but. I'm going to wait for all the uh, the bot stuff to do what it needs to do. I'm going to run through that. Wait till 2 o'clock and then start because he said to start at 2. So, Smidgey87, Gina the Shore, Letitia Levin, L. Waster, Fair underscore TV, Lucky, Mucky Ducky. Bidded Outlaw 37, Tig Whippy, yeah, beer, Fem Fox, the Tig Whippy Bot, Reese's Wave, Mecha Wolfpack, Stratham, <gasps> M0030, Teslight, I like that name, KB Avera, Chris Light, Melly Dunnafree, Dave is Bored, Red Rain, Son of Otty, Gigi Tazzy, Huggerman, Go 8 Bit Fans, Dead Retro, Sweden Ruckus, Tracker 57, The Tosnator, Pixel Crashers, Last Lisa, Iron Nut, Dream Boy Roy, the true J Dizzle weeps and them video dames. Thank you, each and every one of you, for the hosts. And today I do want to say something. Now, if you look here, up here, this, this that I'm holding here is a Metro Exodus dog tag. There we got. Well, at EGX. Hey, lovely. Right, now, so, this morning, uh, I've had three wonderful people donate to Extra Life. Different varying amounts, that's okay, that's fine. But, you know, it's helped us progress to over $800 overall. If today you decide to donate to the Extra Life page, which is here, link is there if you decide to donate any money doesn't matter if it's a dollar doesn't matter if it's 50 bucks doesn't matter if it's a hundred doesn't matter if it's a thousand any any denomination from one dollar and I will give you one of them we have four left because there's two more being kindly donated to myself I will post these off to you tomorrow and you can have them. just for helping kids out who are sick How's that a bad thing? And Giorio, thank you for the host. So yeah, so because you know, November 2nd through to 4th, the game won't play itself, will be part of Extra Life. We're doing eight hours over the f eight hours each over the three days. So Chris Hugelman from the second, James Atkinson from the fourth, Will McKellar from from the fourth. Sorry, did I say fourth and fourth twice? If it did, it's it's third and fourth for James and myself. So yeah, so keep an eye on the page we i will be updating that in the next coming couple of weeks to see what we're doing what we're playing it will be all on the tig whippy channel so if you could give them a follow at tgwpis on twitch.tv that would be amazing but yes yeah, so it's a couple of minutes how are you doing this afternoon you're right did you survive monday i hope so i hope you survived monday because if you didn't i'd be rather sad Bit, boo, boo. So here is where we got to go. Go this way down. Not the other way that I went last time. Because I was a bit of a bell end last time. So we're being a couple of minutes left to go. We might as well.
Might as well get started. Horribly wrong. <laughs> yep, it has. <laughs> oh dear. Now there's times we should stay back. Yeah, that, that is. That was what I should have done. Whoops. The daisy. Never mind, eh? Never mind. We can still do it. What have you guys been up to today? Have you been doing much? Have you been doing much gaming? Enough though, not good enough. <laughs> Got the first two, should just back to help. <sighs> Must remember to dodge. Must remember to dodge. Must remember to dodge and move. Must remember to dodge and move. Wait, so so far we've we've done a couple of minutes in. I've died twice, but we know the direction we're going. A bit back and forth, I don't mind. I really don't mind if we do just a back, bit back and forth. Not a problem to me, I can tell you that much. We're out there. Just repair? 
or we won't repair him. <laughs> he'll just sit there and go no Hello Mike, how are you doing this afternoon matey? Hope you're well, hope you're good. How's life treating you? good today you had more sleep oh that's good to hear man it's good to hear dude because you know we all need a good good sleep at times and i'm pretty good too pretty good too except my my wallet is actually crying at me today Oh, John Bob is hosting me. We're up to nine viewers. Hello, John Bob. Thank you very much, man. And welcome everyone from John Bob's viewers. It's going good, mate. Apart from a wallet screaming at me today, having to spend about two hundred quid. No wasted. Yeah, how's everyone joining us from John Bob's? So our team maker on behalf of the human player itself, podcast and content creators. Hello Epic, how you doing man? How's life treating you? All good? I am all good too. run over these a bit until I can actually kill them off and then we'll we'll save it a little bit yeah how's it how's everyone how you diddling today I'm good buddy just chilling with some animal crossing on 3ds Ooh. very nice are your your animals are they 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 they're judging you because you haven't been on for a while or they looking at you going wow he hasn't been around for a while, has he? As I tend to do, I hear. Because they're judgmental bastards. And I know this. The reason I know this? Very simply. Because. Joel. From a band of gamers used to play it. With his wife. Right. Let's go finish his Book her off. Got him. Perimeter clear. Are you finished your color cubes? Not yet. No, no. In fact, I still have some there. Do you want some? Hello, the Latino bear. That is a great name. <laughs> it's the most pleasant game. That is a great name. Welcome to the stream. That I like that name.
I'm very good, thank you very much. So, my name is La Team Maker on behalf of the Game One Players Out podcast and content creators. This is my second, almost third playthrough of uh, Mass Effect, but the first on stream. Oh, wait a minute, wait, 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 there's a doorway down here. I think that's where I've got to go down here. Is there a bit there? No. I might have gone too far. I know, it's amazing, isn't it? Try to repair, look. Can he repair? <laughs> Ali, Reverse Pro Gamer Dougie and Ghost Menagerie, thank you very much for your host. Where is this bit I'm supposed to go to? Down there. Hang on, before we do, before we do something potentially stupid, save it. Always save it. Because it's say that something along the lines of in the break. Got to be down there, I think. I think it's down there we need to go. Come on, push yourself over. Come on. Not wanting to go over there, is it? But I'm sure this is where we need to go. It's not like down there, but let's have a look. Journal. Yeah, that's that's where we've got to go, really. Then we've got to find these. Yeah, Zoo's Hope. That, of course, is all the way back here, and then we, we don't need to. You're just, you're just glad to see someone playing Mass Effect. Nice. Because it, it was one of those series I wanted to play again, but play as a renegade more. Good afternoon, Lisa. How are you? It was this way, then. I wish. The fuck are you? Dead is what you are. What was that creature? It certainly wasn't human. <laughs> Wipe everything out. <laughs> no hitting the uh, colonists, even if the Thorian makes them fire on us. That's I'm what the gas good, grenades are for. I'm very good. Very well, Commander. So this week Let's should go. be back to normal-ish streaming as much as possible. Uh, a week Friday, I should be doing an extra extra life pinball stream. So again, same things I did before. Beat a uh, beat tables high score that I have on it. Dollar to extra life. More than double it, two dollars. Because there'll be six tables at least to play. Go on, fire it, Will. No, oh, wait, hang on. Don't fire at me. Fuck off. Got shields. But yeah, so we should be back to another stream this week. Even though I do have a friend this week. I, I want to get back in the stream and uh, I want to get my numbers back to you know, uh, oh, you guys entertained. <laughs> what has Will done to me? Well, <laughs> all good, all good stuff. Helping, helping push towards extra life. I'm on it. Locked and loaded. Fire at me, you fuck. 
Davis. Little shits are trying to kill us, eh? You see that? Game is too loud. Oh, hang on. How's this? How's this? Is much better? They started shooting at me. <laughs> I how can how can I help them if they're going to kill me? You know. Awesome. So yeah, so Will Will's been very helpful for the extra life, which we are going to start pushing towards now because it's next month. The second of November is when Hergoman starts his run. Oh, saving content. I don't remember how, but don't shoot him. Oh, too late. <laughs> So let's have a look, see where we can go. I know there's bad guys in that over there, but we all know as a gamer, we go looking for other stuff first and then we go in the direction it wants us to. And I was just defending myself. We're not going to defend ourselves, we're just going to get shot to pieces. Can't have that now, can we? So yeah, if you are enjoying my content, please consider giving us a follow. If you do, we get up to 1,000 followers. I will be given, doing another giveaway. Not of dog tags, but of a, a sweatshirt from the lovely people at Insert Coin. I think we've been here before, but oh, we can we can look we can we can take took gander at what we're looking at. That is nothing down here, right? Okay, so we can go back up. We just want a quick quick look, you know, because you never know. Thank you very much, Latino Bear. Thank you. Yeah, we're going to go back up now. We, we, we found everything we need to do down here. Tom Muchley, yeah. As in, thank you very much. It's twang I've picked up over the years. Right, so let's go back down that way then. So I'm honestly wondering how much of a story we'll get done today on this. <laughs> Mortgages can fuck off. <laughs> Are they being a bit of a bell end towards you today, John and Bob? Have they just changed something without you without you seeing it? Or do they want at least triple and quadruple copies of it? That's, that's the elevator. 
Here's where we need to go. Can't you? Oh, I'll finish him off then. It's fine. <laughs> don't you worry about it, Rex. You just don't bother. Again, if you're going to fire at me, I'm going to fire back. <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> yeah, because you have to say. Because you have to say yourself employed with a Twitch. <laughs> yeah, that would have thrown the bomb like, Oh, you're a pharmacist. No. Calling that, I guess. Hold the line. Hold the line. Come on up, you come. Ah. Or not. <laughs> Doesn't really sell drugs. Nah. Bit of terrorist. No eyes, dude. He just do security details. So a PMC and de demolitions work. Wow. Nice. They're definitely protecting the ship, command. We've got to move one of those cargo lines. Oh, an upgrade kit will take that. I've lost shields. Ah, oh, bollocks. <sighs> Hello, Wookie. I'm doing good, mate. How are you? I'm actually getting somewhere on Mass Effect today. Greta. I'll make you regret that. You're good. Nice, nice. Are you looking forward to Saturday? Come back here, you little kid. Got some breaking wrestling news. I know, poor Collis, but you know, if they're firing at me, it's over them or me. And yeah, so, whoops. <laughs> you could have led Drago. <laughs> there we go. Ah, <laughs> nice. Nice one, Johnny Bob. Nice one. Very nice. You're only going to watch the Taker match. Okay, fair enough. Why, what's the breaking news then? Spitting at me, that's disgusting. Come on, 
Harris. Oh, so they have released him from his contract then. Or he ran out of his contract. Okay, colonists, your time has come. Good point. Where the hell is Garrus? Rex is back up, good. Oh. Right. Squat. Now let's level up. Because we can. And we have two points. So, assault rifles. Increased duration, light allows longer burst, yes. Our right. first aid. Ooh. Yes. Yes, combat armor. Uh, take that. And electronics as well. <laughs> Four Rex was good, but he, he does, doesn't it? It feels, it feels very weird. And Cosmic Game is thank you for the host. <laughs> karaoke, don't you mean a karaoke? Or is it another UK thing? Pretty much another UK thing. <laughs> just, just purely my pronunciation. Right, so we have to kill this problem before we sort that out. Right, we're out of combat now. Sort this. Oh, it's a secret area. It's like how you say herbs and we say herbs. I tried to fight it, but it gets in your head. You can't imagine the pain. I was supposed to be their leader. These people don't trust me. It wants me to stop you, but I won't. <laughs> Last colonist. I won't! Go. Oh, dear. Well, that that's not good. But do we reactivate that? We don't need to. Yeah, we don't need to. It's, it's all done. So why is the exclamation mark still up there? Don't know. <laughs> So yeah, for new people joining us, uh, people joining in from Jolly Bobs, if you would like, for free, no postage page at, at all, one of these, which is one of these here. If you want one of these dog tags, kill the last one. I don't see the last one around unless it's above. If you want one of those dog tags, very simply, we have four left here. What you need to do to get your hands on one of those is go to this link. Make a donation to Extra Life, which is happening next month. And you can have one of those delivered to your home. It's free done already, free gone already. We've got four left. So if you'd like one for Metro Exodus, please see, a, see, your, see a way into your heart and donate to Extra Life. To help some six children. Not go through what I do.
All right, we just need to find this creature and determine what it... What it... This was not covered by my training manuals. <laughs> so that, that, that's large. That does not look like any plant I've ever seen. This may be problematic. That's a big bugger. Invaders, your every step is a transgression. A thousand feelers appraise you as meat, good only to dig or decompose. I speak for the old growth as I did for Saren. You are within and before the Thorian. It commands that you be in awe. You gave something to Saren. Something I need. Saren sought knowledge of those who are gone. The old world <laughs> listened to flesh for the first time in the long cycle. Trades were made. Then cold ones began killing the flesh that would tend the next cycle. Flesh fairly given. The old growth sees the air you push as lies. It will listen no more. I won't let you keep your thralls. Release them, now! No more will the Thorian listen to those that scurry. Your lives are short, but have gone on too long. Your blood will feed the ground. You must die! Come on then, let's, let's, let's deal with this. Wow. You must Lost health too, bloody hell. Well shit. I went pop. <laughs> That's okay, we can do it again. It's not a problem. We'll do though is we'll save it here so it's a lot more we can do and quicker. Wonder if I have better equipment. We can look at that in a bit. Alright, we just need this. to find this creature and determine what it what it This was not covered by my training manuals. That does not look like any plant I've ever seen. It's a big bugger. This may be problematic. I mean, it is a very big bugger, isn't it? I could, but I, I want uh... well, actually, no, I can't by pressing X. Invaders, your every step. I see oh, now I can, the yeah. old growth as I did for Saren. Uh, yeah. No more. Your blood will feed the ground. Did we win? I heard it come. Okay. Splat. Oh, trophy. Achievement. <laughs> Same thing, just on a different console. Some kind 
of growth here that is definitely different. I did it, I got it, we got him. Oh, did you not like that, pal? Did that hurt you? Did it? Control over that. No control over that whatsoever. <laughs> Sarcastic GGG. All right, we just need to. Back when I cup of coffee and had coffee in like three years. Bloody hell! I got killed by the stairs. <laughs> It's almost as bad as my friend getting trapped in doors and stuff. I know the stairs are nasty, man. Welcome back, Epic. Invade. I'll kill you again. It's you okay. gave something. Then cold ones began killing the flesh. Give me what I need. No, your blood will feed. Again, shall we? Same before every no that might be a good idea actually, right? In fact, I take that into consideration. Lots of consideration go, you're bloody right. After every note, it doesn't look like you can. You're gonna have to do it after every note, then. There we go. <laughs> we did it. We got it. We're past that bit now. That bit will not bother us. More of those, and it's in trouble. <laughs> Take vengeance on the stairs. It's fuck you, stairs. <laughs> it seems like I'm gonna have a bit of trouble with it. Definitely. <laughs> Who the fuck threw that? It was a grenade bit. 50 times, bloody hell. It was that bloody clone throwing that grenade, that's all, guys. <laughs> Yuck, yeah. It's like, ugh. <laughs> Thing is, there's no more nodes I can take away. I 
apart from up there. It's that bloody clone, isn't it? We'll get there though, we've got time, we've still got time, we've made progress today, so... I'm happy it's what we're here for. And how I've played King Hearts, I know now. <laughs> I know what it takes to go through long stories and stuff. We did it. We got it. You haven't played Mass Effect 3 yet? Not a huge plan gave birth to a full grown Asari. I don't know. Life. <laughs> Actually, I could save it there. It's a good cause. You've not played Mass Effect 3, dude. Have you played Andromeda? I really love for it. Are we playing uh, Andromeda eventually? What are you giving me? What are you giving me? Oh, yeah, I'll take all that. They have kind of fixed some of Andromeda and its problems. I mean, it'll still probably be a bit you know, bad, but we'll see. We'll soon see. It's good, but questionable. Oh, did that hurt you again? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Kudos if you remember where that came from. <laughs> that sounded like I leveled up. It did sound like I leveled up there. I did. Oh, two more points. Right. Uh, assault rifle. Combat armor. We now equip heavy armor. Oh, nice. Let's see what's in the equipment, shall we? Heavy armor too, yes. We want to equip that. Good. Good, good. The co-op with people on Mass Effect 3.
Is that co op? We got them all, Shepard. Because they'll have Mass Effect 3 on here, on the Xbox. I made it go splat. I mean, I did like the original ending on the Mass Effect. I really did. I love the fact that it's, I start shooting and then they wake up. Just to be shot. Plop. Watch the And they are great series of games. And even though the fucking Mako's a bit ropey at best, I think I prefer this over Dragon Age 1. Get Rex full up. First aid and electronics. Shepherd that way. Save it again so then we don't have to worry about that too much. Then we can look at more. I hope to get this quest done today. Get this quest done today and start on another one for next week. That'd be awesome. Well, shit. I think we do have to go this way, don't we? Oh, no, we don't. No, no, we don't. But I bet these buggers are going to come alive, aren't they? Bloody creepers. Utter creeps, I tell you. There we go. Oh shit. Oh, oh.
Hey, over I felt, bastard. I've lost shields. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, that went slightly wrong. I say slightly wrong, completely wrong. Right, where was I? Where did I get to? What did I do? Oh, well, we're not too far from it. go any further can I upgrade my stuff I can upgrade good don't really want to though because that's okay Oh, the Banshee 3 is a much better rifle, so I can equip that. Mm, see, the Scimitar, better damage. Shots, though, 3.2 accuracy is a bit rubbish. I need that can potentially sell if I haven't got better equipment for the rest of them. Might as well take a few moments so you know get myself better equipped. Same. Same. Oh. Yes, please. Yes. Yes. I might as well get the Omni Gel for need be, yeah? There's no point in me carrying around shit if I don't need it. It does, unlike Survival Corp with many of the type of abilities of races. Wow. Four player. No, let's keep that one. Let's get rid of Edge 1. So there's no point me keeping stuff here if it's not going to be wor you know, worth my while. I'm just clogging up my inventory, right? I'll save it there. I don't. Re I remember them saying about laughing me. 
also has co-op, but it still doesn't feel the same in Mass Effect 3. I mean, we'll certainly see what it's like. I mean, I, I do want to go through all four of them. None of you is waking up. Splat. No. There we go. Get them all healed up. This is how we do it. Um, oh, that's a good point. I think it's a warrior. It's like a warrior class fighter. Shields, need my shields, need health. It is if I can show you. There we go. So I played this when they actually finally released it on the PS3. So this will definitely be my third time of playing Mass Effect 2 when I play through it. Go on, Shepard, heal up. We haven't got all day. We've still just got about another hour. <laughs> Soldier, mate. Look, I'll show you. There you go. But yeah, this is like the second or third time I've played it on um, and this is the first time I've played it since the PS3 days because I've got the the trilogy over there. Oh, you did actually kill her then. Well done, lads. There's more coming behind us. So he's definitely on the move. It's not going to go well. It's a good job I saved it there, really, wasn't it? Overwhelmed. I was waiting to see where those other guys were coming from, and I just ran too far forward.
Ah, sorry, clones are pain. It's okay though, you yeah. Take steady progress rather than nothing. Area secured. So it's free up there, isn't it? I can't save it yet until these three are killed. Shooter. Thank you. That's it. Bag him and tag him. Oh. I can't make it. They're on the move, that's the problem. Combat biotics to my advantage. If I ever see how World's Toy Clims are doing Black Flag, mate. No worries. No worries at all, matey. If I don't see you in his or Tom's, I shall hopefully catch you tonight for some Dragon Age 2. Kill these beforehand. Hello, Bill. Sorry. How you doing, Bill? No worries, man. No worries. Thank you very much for popping by before you head out.
was going to say, you two get up. Good 20 minutes from being packed it up, so no rush. Oh, going anywhere? Exciting, matey. Dog of War, achievement unlocked. <laughs> yeah. Also want to level up as well. Uh... Stores a bigger portion of shield, nice. More first aid. Garrus's combat armor. Increase health as well for Rex because he fucking needs it. That will get Garrus up as well in first aid. It's a good plan though, dude. It's a good plan. We mean, we've still got another hour to go and hopefully We'll get this one done. Clown. about no one's impressed you know ah that was a good call for saving there dude cracking bit of luck Pain in the ass done. Sorted.
splat. <laughs> This is here to fly. I'm free. I... I suppose I should thank you for releasing me. <laughs> is everything all right? Are you hurt? I am fine. Or... I will be. In time. My name is Shiala. I serve... I served Matriarch Benezia. When she allied herself with Saren, so did I. Benezia foresaw the influence Saren would have. She joined him to guide him down a gentler path. But Saren is compelling. Venezia lost her way. Are you saying Saren can control minds? Venezia underestimated Saren, as I did. We came to believe in his cause and his goals. The strength of his influence is troubling. She tried to manipulate Saren, but in the end, her plan backfired. Asari matriarchs are among the most intelligent and powerful beings in the galaxy. How could one fall under Saren's control? Saren has a vessel, an enormous warship unlike anything I've ever seen. He calls it Sovereign. It can dominate the minds of his followers. They become indoctrinated to Saren's will. The process is subtle. It can take days, weeks, but in the end, it is absolute. I was a willing slave when Saren brought me to this world. He needed my biotics to communicate with the Thorian to learn its secrets. Saren offered me in trade. I was sacrificed to secure an alliance between Saren and the Thorian. Then why were the Geth trying to destroy the Thorian? After Saren had what he needed, the Thorian became a liability. Saren knows you are searching for the Conduit. He knows you are following his steps. He attacked the Thorian so you could not gain the Cypher. What's the cipher? And why did Saren need it? The beacon on Eden Prime gave you visions. But the visions are unclear, confusing. They were meant for a Prothean mind. To truly comprehend them, you must think like a Prothean. You must understand their culture, their history, their very existence. The Thorian was here long before the Protheans built this city. It watched and studied them. When they died, it consumed them. They became a part of it. <laughs> Enough mystic crap. So the Thorian taught Saren to think like a Prothean. How? The Cypher is the very essence of being a Prothean. It cannot be described or explained. It would be like describing color to a creature without eyes. To understand, you must have access to endemic ancestral memory. A viewpoint spanning thousands of Prothean generations. I sense this ancestral memory. The Cypher, when I meld it with the Thorian, our identities merged, our minds intertwined. Such knowledge cannot be taught, it simply exists. I need the Cypher. There is a way. I can transfer the knowledge from my mind to yours, as I did with Saren. Try to relax, Commander. Slow, deep breaths. Let go of your physical shell. Reach out to grasp the threads that bind us, one to another. Every That's one way of calling it. ripples across the galaxy. Every idea must touch another mind to live. Each emotion must mark another's spirit. I don't know. We are all she don't know. Every living being united in a single glorious existence. Open yourself to the universe, Commander. Embrace eternity. <laughs> I have given you the cipher, just as it was given to Saren. The ancestral memories of the Protheans are a part of you now. 
Are you all right? What just happened? <laughs> you messed up. She messed up me mind. I saw <laughs> something. It still didn't make any sense. You have been given a great gift. The experience of an entire people. It will take time for your mind to process this information. We should get you back to the ship, Commander. Medical needs to know about this. I'm sorry if you have suffered, yeah, but there was no other way. Stretchy deck. You needed the cipher. In time, it will help you understand the vision from the beacon. Is there anything else you can tell me about the Thorian? When the creature enveloped me, I became part of it. But I still don't truly understand it. So alien, so ancient. Its exact age is impossible to know. It measured time differently. 10,000 years of hibernation broken by a few frantic centuries of activity. Its mind was awesome, magnificent. It transcended all classification. And now it is gone. Don't tell me you feel sorry for that thing. The Thorin was a unique life form, a sentient being that lived for 50,000 years, maybe more. There is nothing even remotely like it in the known galaxy. I am grateful you saved me from a life of thraldom. Yet I cannot help but feel some sorrow for the loss of such a rare and remarkable creature. I want to know more about you. There is nothing remarkable about me. I was merely one of Matriarch Benezia's disciples. For nearly two centuries I followed her, learning at her feet. When Benezia revealed her plan to join Saren, she gave her disciples a choice. Only those who were willing had to follow her. Many felt her plan was too dangerous. But I believed in her. I thought she could turn Saren away from his insanity. Instead, we joined him in it. Tell me more about this ship Saren has. Sovereign is alien. I do not know how it was built or where it comes from. Its design does not match that of any known space-faring species. It dwarfs any vessel in the Citadel or Alliance fleets. Its weapons are devastating. Its defenses virtually impenetrable. With it, Saren believes he is unstoppable. You said Saren uses it to manipulate his followers. The indoctrination. There is an energy about Sovereign. You feel drawn to the ship. It makes Saren's arguments more persuasive, more compelling. Spend enough time in Sovereign's presence and you will lose yourself. There is no other way to explain it. Sorry, I might as well let you guys listen to this stuff as well as me. I want to know more about Benezia. Benezia was greatly respected among our people. A powerful biotic, even for an Asari. She was widely known as a teacher of philosophy and religion. She always sought the paths of peace and harmony. She joined with Saren because she hoped to turn him away from his path of destruction. Instead, she became one of his most powerful allies. As I mentioned before, Matriarch Benezia underestimated Saren. Be sure you do not make the same mistake. So, Matriarch, did I just have to... What else can yeah. you tell me about Saren? There is little I could tell you that you do not already know. He's powerful, he's charismatic, and he is dangerous. Once I followed him, blind to his true nature. But now I see he's leading the galaxy into an age of darkness and suffering. <sighs> now that you're free of the Thorian, what are you planning to do next? If you allow it, I would like to stay here with the colonists. They have suffered greatly, and I played a role in their suffering. I would like to make amends. It's a noble idea. The colonists will need all the help they can get. They'll be happy to have you on their side. Thank you, Commander. <laughs> May fortune smile upon you. You tried to do for us. Saved a few. It's more than most would have done. Anyway, thanks. Hey! Ah, achievement unlocked. I hope Exogeny learned their lesson. It's nice to finally get the support we deserve. We'll start over. I was hoping you'd have a moment to speak with me. 
I've got a bit of a problem. What do you need? I need to retrieve some data. It's not a big job, but it pays well. I'm listening. Good. I don't want to get myself killed before I can leave this place. Why do people always assume we enjoy putting ourselves in harm's way? <laughs> All you need to do is find my console at Exogeny headquarters and drop the data onto this OSD. It's that simple. You're awfully quick to trust me with this. Have you seen anyone else heading to Exogeny lately? I'll look around if I get the chance. I appreciate it. That data could be worth a lot of money. After this disaster, I could use a little good news. A few credits to get me started again. Why work in the middle of nowhere if your skills are so useful? We'll go Maybe try this one because we're still on the same planet. Spirit. We might as well get that back to Exogeny. The is a bit too secure for my liking. Freelancers don't have to worry about security as much, so long as we keep a low profile. Time to get moving. Just keep in mind what I said. Right, let's see if we can head to Exogeny then. And of course, save it here. After we've, we've leveled up our squad. Uh, yes and yes. Oh, yes. I think we've done okay now. We we you know we've got back on the road that we wanted to. That's the one we needed to go back up. Channel. Let's find the console. System. So we've got a load of these ones still to do. Which will work through them, but I might as well go through this one first, you know? See if we can get back out to the... Now to the Mako because it's going to be that way, isn't it? It's going to be this way to get to it. No, it's not that way. So where's the way to the Mako map? Yeah, because we go to Zoo's Hope to go through that way. So I'm just remembering my way through.
Alright, get over there. No can do. Now why is this not going? I mean just stairs down to tunnel, we don't want that. Elevator. Normandy's there. Okay, why can't I not go back to there? Because the vehicle's got to be up. So why is that not doing that then? So I want to find his his bit, but it doesn't look it doesn't look like we can do that. You know, should be able to because the base part. This is very strange, it hasn't able to to actually go back to there. We should be able to though. I mean if not we'll have to go somewhere else. And try to come back later on. Well can what do our assignments if we can and go do the missions when we we're done with assignments. That's not working. Yeah, it's not working. Hmm. We'll have to come back here and see whether we can do anything about it. Oh well. That sucked. That sucks. I mean, if we can't go back and do that, oh well, it's a side quest, isn't it? See where I can go back to the Normandy now and see what next quest we can do. Set ourselves up for another one. Because there's the Normandy right there. Let us do this. Hey, Commander, you look a little pale. It's that damn cipher. That is sorry messed you up good. And for what? We still don't know where to find the stupid conduit. What a waste. 
It wasn't a waste. The cipher is going to lead us to the conduit. I'm just not sure how yet. We still have another lead, Commander. That Asari scientist in the Artemis Tau cluster, the Matriarch's daughter. She's an expert on the Protheans. Maybe she knows something. Hmm. Don't worry. We'll deal with her soon. Deal with her soon. I sent off the Pharos report, Commander. You want me to patch it through to the Council? Yes. Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. Commander, Exogeny should have told us about the Thorian. It would have made your job much easier. You might have been able to capture it for study instead of destroying it. The Thorian liked to enslave minds. Anyone who studied it would have ended up as one of its thralls. Yes, I'm sure you're correct, Commander. It's unfortunate the colony couldn't be saved. I'm surprised, Shepard. Ferris was a human colony. I thought you'd go to any lengths to save your own kind. <laughs> I would have saved the colony if I could. It didn't work out that way. Sometimes sacrifices have to be made, Commander. I'm glad you understand that. Goodbye, Commander. We will be waiting for your next report. Indeed. I'm going very Paragon at the moment. That's not good. We need to sort that out. So next, Let's see where the galaxy map takes us. Hercules. Oh, we can have a look at Hercules. Let's see what's there, because we've got half hour yet, so we can, we can sort of relax a little bit. We've done the big mission we wanted to do today. Message coming in. Patching it through. Commander Shepard, my name is Nasana Dantius. I have a job for you. I can't say any more in an unsecured communication. If you're interested in hearing my offer, meet me on the Citadel so we can talk in person. I'll be waiting in the Diplomat's Lounge on the Presidium. That's another place we can go then. <laughs> Wait a minute, did I see someone in that horse? Warning, uh, a Lytenia appears to be a world eminently suited for colonization. Sadly, appearance is deceiving. Moment carpet of mosses, algae, a lichen, and possess a thick oxygenated atmosphere. But the animal kingdom is a web of microscopic symbiotic creatures. It is impossible to filter for the air necessary for the native life to thrive. Unfortunately, they're also causing anaphylactic shock when held non native life. In short, settlement requires either full sealed environmental suits or Replacement of the entire world's ecosystem. Uh, some prof propose limited colonization of uh, altitudes above the symbiote's range or in areas where favorable winds keep the air clear. Have a quick look, see what's on here. Added squad, Garrus. Except, so yay, <laughs> we did stuff and things. It was awesome.
Saving content. Right, journal. So we've got those two. Novaria. I swear we can go back to that. The Maroon Sea Cluster. I think a good place to start. The Amazon system on Hercules system. Right, so there's nothing really here. It said to land, though. Alright, better hold off and never leave. No worries, Bill. Hopefully catch you later. Yeah, have a good one, mate. I have a feeling this is where I started before. I have been here before. Yep, monkey calling it. I've been here before. Okay, so return to Normandy. Okay. See you later, dude. You have a good one, mate. Oh. That was silly. Let's go elsewhere. Voyager cluster. Strongest nebula. Keep Kepler Vage. Moon Sea. Gamma Sigma. Right, so that's where the two main quests are going to be. I don't think we should go there. I think we should go to like the Voyager cluster and work our way around because it looks like there's plenty of stuff around there. Ha. Yes. So there's going to be plenty of stuff for us to do and explore in this, which is nice. Like it. Commander, incoming signal from 5th Fleet HQ on the Citadel. Commander Shepard, something uncomfortable has just come up. In the first contact war, we fired a lot of espionage probes into Turian space. We just received a mission complete burst from one of them. <laughs> Where's it been in the meantime? No idea. Lost in transit. These probes were built in a hurry after first contact. What makes this uncomfortable? When these probes were launched, we didn't have any idea who we were fighting. We didn't want to risk aliens examining our technology. The probe has a demo nuke built in. A 20 kiloton tactical fusion warhead. About equal to the bomb dropped on Hiroshima back in the 20th. If somebody finds that probe, tampers with it. You don't need me to finish, Commander. I understand this must be handled. But I don't have anyone trained to deal with this sort of thing, sir. I know. I wouldn't ask if it wasn't important. These probes have been classified for 26 years. The Council will call fusion bomb booby traps dangerous and irresponsible. The Alliance would face censure if they find this probe. I'm asking you because the Normandy can get on site quickly and quietly. It's in the Voyager cluster. We'll get on it immediately, Admiral. And we'll be discreet. I appreciate that, Commander. Good luck. The fleet out. Mm -hmm. So hang on, oh, 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 oh fuck's sake, lad. You know when you just want to zoom out and stuff? Right, it's here in the Voyager cluster, right, okay.
I guess we're gonna go looking for a bomb then. We'll look at all these planets, because we can do. There we shall see. Yes. I do confirm. Let's go exploring, shall we? It's got on the map. Lion's home and beacon, debris and anomaly. Right, okay, so we've got these three bits to look at. Oh, it's exciting, isn't it? <laughs> Funny if you found it straight away, wouldn't it? So yet we've still got 20 minutes. inside door number two. Mineshaft, that's the source of the signal. This smells. I agree. Your probe didn't crash. It was moved here. Ah, no kidding. The grasp of the obvious is inspiring. There's still a nuke down there. Check your corners and watch your back. Right. Ah, uh, right, okay. Let's go find us a nuke. Right, so there's nothing here. I'm blocked. Let's get moving. And then they go, by the way, you can't fire because it's unstable, it'll go off. <laughs> what? So that's where we came out. I have a feeling this is the calm before the storm. Right, so we have those two to go through. Uh, this really does feel calm before the storm. Right, because that's where we came out. Right, so we have two doors. Left and right. I think we should go right first. But we can't, we have to go left. <laughs> well, excuse you, door. <coughs> that was a detonator. Someone just screws. <coughs> Someone, Shepherd, yeah, someone's bent us over and screwed us. At last. You have me at a disadvantage. My name is Ilanos Heliot. I doubt you know it. 
Who do you think runs the Terminus Clan, Shepard, huh? Thousands of pirates, slavers, criminals of every stripe? In most criminal organizations, it's the one who's recognized as the most successful. That's correct. The one who kills the most men, seizes the most ships, pillages the most colonies. Three years ago, I was the strongest. I used my influence to assemble a fleet. We would drive your kind out of the verge. <laughs> nice try, genius. You organized the attack on Elysium. Too bad we kicked your ass back into Terminus, huh? I was the motivator, the instigator. The one who promised glory and riches for sacking the largest human colony in the cluster. The blah, one blah, blah. blamed when it failed. Blah, 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 failed. blah, blah. I was ruined when your kind held against the Blitz. What better way to recover my reputation than by eliminating the first human specter? And he's a bit of a ball bag, isn't he, really? My crew will come for me. Oh, let them. We'll be ready. An Alliance warship would make a fine prize. Oh, and if you haven't noticed, the oars here are laced with heavy metals. I'm afraid your suit radios aren't powerful enough to transmit out. We'll find a way out of here. <laughs> I'd rather <laughs> doubt that. Goodbye, Shepard. Orders, Commander. We've got air no, and panic. light, and the Normandy's still in orbit. Let's look for another way out. Ah, got you, you bastard. Three of them. Game as Simon Bloody says. You have disabled the bomb. Yes, yeah, screw you, hippies. Just lead the way. No sense standing around. Well, we've got another bit to go now. What I will do is complete this mission and then if we complete it in time, then I'll call it early. Area map. Right, we're not far away from the Mako then. The anomaly's over there, right, hang on. Mercenary camp, okay, so that's where we've got to go, and then we'll go to the anomaly. But we'll save it. take the mercenary camp out because I have a feeling that's going to be a gunfight and then we'll check the anomaly I've lost shields bollocks 
good job I saved it really, wasn't it? Mercenary camp it is to kill off. Oh, that wasn't good. That was not good in any way, shape, or form. Okay, once more. Because we are coming up to the two hour mark. Let's see if we can take these buggers out properly. Okay, this is not good. This is going not good at all. If I can get the air call back. Wow, that <laughs> that oh, sniper yeah. was really dangerous. Now it gets fun. Hello Robin, how you doing? Got him. How you doing Robin? Are you having a good day? between his legs. <laughs> Look, he was, wasn't it? I've lost shield. Well, that was quick to lose shields, wasn't it? Bloody Nora. I'm good, thank you. 
it's this game is this game is being a bit nasty to me today but oh that was a cracking shot the snipe is out there there's another one Save it here. No, we can't. We're in the middle of a firefight. But yeah, we'll take this firefight and then we'll, we'll call it. I've lost shields. Okay. Okay, we'll call it there. We'll do that next week. I think there's a there's a point where we have to say enough's enough and that's enough. For the week. So yeah, so what we'll do is next week we'll continue this part, we will look at the anomaly, and then we will continue the adventures of Cap Commander Shepard. The intergalactic sex pest that he is. But yeah, thank you ever so much everyone who joined us today. Thank you very much for the follows. Thank you for the hosts because the hosts are awesome too. If you haven't already and you would like to donate to Extra Life, please do. The link I am about to post, if you do, and you are one of the next four. If you're one of the next four people that donate to Extra Life, you will receive from me at no extra charge from yourself one of these lovely dog tags from Metro Exodus. I say I got three going out already to Michael, to Will, and to Lisa. Lovely to see you guys again. It's, it's always fun to, to hang out with you guys. It's always fun to talk to you. And yeah, it's just it's, it's really great. I'll be back tonight, 10 o'clock, because we got some more Dragon Age 2 to do. But for now, let us, let us raid, let us raid the Tom Marrot. And we shall see the people we do. But yeah, so it's been fun. I've loved it here back again. And now we can get back into a nice, lovely streaming session. So yeah, so I will catch you later on.